I did. When, um, when we lost those two holidays in February, I thought that was a national tragedy. Um, I, there's, we don't have that many uh, holidays. There's, uh, there's only, um, uh, I think, 10 altogether, including uh, Christmas, including New Year's. Uh, the ones that we do have, uh, celebrating uh, Martin Luther King, celebrating our presidents. Uh, we have two holidays that are um, dedicated to uh, veterans, American veterans, those uh, who have fought in, in our wars, uh, Memorial Day and um, Veterans Day. We have a holiday celebrating uh, Christopher Columbus, celebrating the journey of a European uh, to uh, the Western Hemisphere, uh, uh, who then led to uh, the, uh, the development, uh, eventually, of, of the North American and South American continents and the creation of the United States. And, of course, we have a holiday celebrating uh, the 4th of July, the, uh, the date in 1776 when our Declaration was, uh, of Independence was signed uh, that led to the creation of uh, the United States. So the number is, is um, uh, limited. There's been uh, lots of debate over time whether we should add or subtract uh, from uh, this list of holidays. Um, uh, I hope my colleagues agree that right now there's a fairly strong consensus that the group that we have is, is, a, is adequate and appropriate and, and should be continued. Thank you.